Good morning, friends. Welcome to a new cozy vlog day in my life. We're doing a lot in this video, but first of all, it's time for a change. It is time for a change. I'm off to get my hair cut. It's been a long time coming. Here is the <laughs> before. <laughs> Literally, the last time I had a haircut was 14 months ago in July 2023. So I haven't had a haircut or done anything to my hair in over a year. And this is a typical pattern. <laughs> this is a typical pattern for me. I been, have been growing out my bangs because a couple of years ago I got my bangs cut and loved that era. I've never fully embraced one, like a center part on me. So this whole look has been a self love journey. And now I love myself with a center part. I used to only do kind of like a side swoop part or like straight across fringe bangs. So that's a journey in itself. And now I just am all for the center part. And then the next part of that journey was growing out my bangs and having just kind of like one length. So that's been the last year and hair for me is a very emotional thing. When I'm not cutting my hair or doing anything to my hair, it's really kind of a reflection that I'm in a healing process I'm in a healing period and my hair just has <laughs> so many so many things from this past year so much baggage and good bad memories and things I've worked through things I've overcome things that I want to leave in the past and now we're gonna go chop it all off and start new it's my new year it's my autumn glow up we need it friends and piggybacking off of my hair appointment that I need to leave for and literally like two minutes. We're gonna have a little self-care date as well today and talk about confidence and outfits for fall and just girly things. So if you want to hang out and talk about girly things and confidence and outfits and hair, stick around and let's go to the hair studio. <laughs> let's go see my hairstylist. Okay, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Born over a fall line. Yeah, I feel like we could do, because you curl it, so it's going to go up a yeah. little bit. So we could definitely do, like, maybe start, like, here. Yeah. And then it'll probably bounce up. That may, yeah, because it does get... Unless you want it at your shoulders, oh, but... Let me see how We can I always look. start here and see. Yeah. Should have it. transformed we have glowed up ah i feel so much better guys my hair looks so good thank you kelly as always i've been going to kelly for like years years and years and years at this point and she last cut my hair 14 months ago and was like has it really been that long so i don't know how many inches i'm gonna just guess eight six inches my hair originally went down to my my nippy area and I didn't want to get it too short because I've gotten it like super short like up here before and it just this feels like the perfect length right now with the curls and everything with the the waves so this was the look I was going for and we've achieved it and it feels so nice so much lighter I'm sure I'll have a lot of reflecting to do <laughs> on the past year of all of what my hair is, has carried but Anywho, got out of the salon, went and got a coffee at one of my favorite coffee shops, uh, Brood Awakening. It used to be closer to me before I moved, and now it's like 30 minutes, so I rarely go there. So I was kind of in the area today and was like, let me just go get myself a nice latte, enjoy it, and we're enjoying. <laughs> but now I'm going to run a few errands because I need to make a return some clothing returns and then when I get home we're just gonna chat about outfits and clothing and things but I've come to Old Navy to do a return I love Old Navy and my Old Navy hack is I order on their app and they always have random sales just 
just check the app on a semi-regular basis and you're bound to get like a 40% off everything deal. Or if you have the credit card, which I do have an Old Navy credit card and I always make sure to pay it off within the billing statement. That's my rule of thumb with using credit cards is I don't carry a balance. So with if you're a credit card holder, there's they have random deals where everything is half off. That's when I do my shopping at Old Navy and I can get really anything, sweaters, pants tops, leggings for half off. So that's when I do my big shopping and I found the cutest sweater. It's in here. I'll show a picture, but it's in this perfect color. The color is called spice. And I was like, this, this needs to be mine. And unfortunately it came with like a little stain on it. And I've never had this happen to me before. And I was gutted because it would have been perfect otherwise. So I'm gonna return this and try and get another one. The way with like exchanges and things, I doubt they have, they might have them in store, I don't know. But if not, I'm gonna have to probably just reorder it again. I'm also exchanging some leggings and some pants that I bought for work that just, too wide, too wide legs. So let's go return those and then I think I might pop over to the bookstore um, that's also in this shopping area that I used to go to a lot. And it's actually where I came to, where I met Riley Sager a couple of years ago when he did a book talk. So I haven't been over there in a minute and we'll check out their new releases and just see what they have there. So yeah, let's, let's, go, let's go return things and look for fall clothes. <laughs> things to show you. I had really good luck at Old Navy. I was able to exchange my sweater. I found pants, other random things. So we'll, I'll show you when I try them on. But right now I'm gonna do a little, I'm gonna get ready because I am filming like a real hair transformation thing. I did my before this morning before I left and now I wanna do my after with some makeup. And I'm also gonna film a sit down video, my fall reading list video which is very very exciting and when I do sit down videos I like to do my makeup because one if you're gonna be staring at me for like 30 minutes might as well make myself look a little bit better and two I'm doing it for myself and getting into the fall spirit so I'm gonna do that and film that video first just so I can get out of the way and then we can talk about fall outfits and I also have random things to show you like decor that I got in the Midwest when I went on my <laughs> little vacation and books oh yeah I picked up a book I'll show you guys now but when I was out and about I stopped into the local bookstore and this has been on my radar it's called Rewitched by Lucy Jane Wood and it just came out I think last week and they had it in stock there and their new releases are always 20% off even their softback softback paperback romance book so this is considered a romance which I'm excited for I love the cover super cute so this is on my reading list for fall but I have a lot of other ones so I need to like corral them sit down maybe make myself some tea or something and film that so I'll be back when that's all done Look at my cute mug. This is one of the things I wanted to show you guys in my decor haul and I had to use it for my video. So I just finished filming my fall reading list 
video post filming brain fog which i'm gonna put that video before this one so you've likely already seen it but if you haven't go check it out i shared 13 titles 12 books and one periodical that i'm excited to read this year so yay and i made my autumn spice tea that i love and i can't remember the name of it at all but now i need to film some outfits and one of them is actually what i'm wearing right now i need to like figure out the camera situation so just give me give me a second all right so this first outfit is one of my new purchases from old navy today i love this dress it's a forest green color if it's not coming out on camera so it's like a dark hunter green forest green i don't know it's a dark green for fall and i love it as pockets and i wore this to film my fall tbr video it has these cute puff sleeves and i actually originally tried this on in a petite size because i'm I always thought I was 5'3", but I got measured at the doctor a couple weeks ago and I'm 5'4", apparently, in case anybody was wondering. <laughs> so I'm like a tall petite girl and I usually just get regular size pants and I'm okay. But so they did have, they do have this in petite sizes, at least online, but I got it in just a regular length because I wanted it to be a little bit longer, more of like a long midi dress. And I'm not a big maxi dress girl because I don't, I just will trip <laughs> over dresses that are like over my feet so this is like the perfect length and i'm wearing my booties i got a couple years ago from madewell which i love wearing these in the fall i just feel so ethereal in this and i love it and i mean a dress is such an easy outfit combo because just throw it on and that's it right so if we're gonna put something on this we could put a sweater but i'm just like a jean jacket Kind of girl and this would be super easy but this is like an actual legit outfit i would wear and here's my purse also from madewell that i wear every single day and easy cute this is a more up close view and here's the puff sleeves cute all right next we're going into like a wide leg <laughs> corduroy trouser segment because i've acquired some pants these pants and this top i got today at old navy this is a navy these are navy navy blue corduroy wide leg pants and this mustard yellow t-shirt which has like a cropped fit to it but it's not too cropped it's enough that i can like tuck it in and wear it to work without like reaching up and my midriff is showing but also just a good crop length for you know casual days when i want <laughs> this kind of effect and I just put a off-white cardigan over it for now um I'm not really sure if I'm vibing with this I mean it's just a casual look but I have other options that I can show with these pants but this was my first kind of <laughs> rough draft I guess of this outfit but I love this cardigan I wear this like every season i've had it for years where is this from i got it through toby they actually sent it to me when i used to be a fashion blogger many years ago and i've just held on to it it's great quality and i wear it to work a lot in the archives because it's cold in there but yeah and i'm wearing some like ballet flat inspired mary jane shoes that i got a couple months ago from dsw i feel like with wide legs, you could wear flats, you can wear loafers, you can wear boots, you can wear heels. There's a wide range depending on the look you're going for. So this right here is more casual, but I would wear this to work for sure. I don't have to dress super fancy at work, but these pants are just really comfortable and they're high waist, so I like that. We got pockets, we got pockets. So I tried these, I saw these and was like, I hope those fit because I love those and was happy because I love this color. Navy blue, dark greens, burnt oranges. Those are the like color scheme I'm going for this season. And these fit the bill. And then they also had like this olive green color in these pants, which I initially was not into, but then I tried them on 
and had this shirt on and I actually really loved the color combo with this shirt and those green pants and was like, this is just screaming fall leaves. So I ended up getting both pants. They were half off in store, which was amazing. And they're currently half off on the website or the app right now if you're interested. So I will link everything down below that I can link if you're interested, but yeah. Same pants, same corduroy trousers, but I put on my spice sweater that I was able to exchange and get a new one without a stain and yay it's kind of hard to tell with the light I'll try and brighten it up but I love this orange and blue combo blue yellow and <laughs> blue and yellow blue and orange blue and green I just I love it all so that's another kind of casual fit all right I wanted to show you guys the green ones on with the yellow shirt hello <laughs> I love these colors and I just added a tote bag to kind of add a little extra to it. Still wearing the same flats, like the brown flats. And then for a jacket, I mean, the blue looks good, right? We like that. <laughs> Again, I'm trying to see myself in the viewfinder and cannot see myself, but I like these colors. They look cute. All right, guys, I did move my camera back a little bit because I noticed my feet were getting cut off. So apologies <laughs> for not having a super wide angle lens. But this is my next fit. We have some more corduroy <laughs> wide leg jeans. I sense a theme. I sense a theme. This whole outfit, well, not this whole outfit. These pants and this sweater are from Nordstrom Rack. I just got them recently and have not worn them out. My initial thinking was to pair, you know, navy blue sweater with the burnt orange rust colored corduroy and it's again i love that contrast of blue and orange and now i'm currently wearing like black chunky heeled boots and these are super comfortable i like to wear these to work so i have some some uh, angst in me and some confidence in my stomping boots because they have like a memory foam so they're super comfortable i got them from jc penny i think two seasons ago i love jc penny and yeah, so those are like trusty, trusty boots. But my conundrum is, I don't know if I like the navy with the black. I know there are rules, don't wear navy and black. And I have broken those rules and I've even made blog posts breaking those rules, but I don't know about this particular combo. I just wish my boots were blue so they matched, but maybe I'm being too matchy and matchy. And then with the bag options, we have my brown bag obviously which i think goes and then i have my black little purse that matches the boots obviously but do they go with the sweater i don't know i don't know but i did have a thought to change my boots out for a brown my brown madewell boots so let me see what that looks like i'll put a clip here because i don't know what do you guys think but i love these pants they're comfortable they're not as high-waisted as the other ones, <laughs> but they're, they're still comfy and I feel like I can like move in them, which is important. So I'll be wearing these to work on a rotation and out and about when I can wear pants and it's not 80 degrees out. And this sweater is, is really warm and I love the fit of it. And I just tucked it in, I guess, millennial style, or I don't know, is it millennial and Gen Z style? I don't know, trends guys and I don't really care. I will dress like a millennial and try to dress cool with wide leg pants. But I love, the sleeves kind of have like a balloon effect and it just fits really nicely and it's really warm. I'm like sweating. So this will be really good for fall and winter. All right, next look, I'm wearing the same Nordstrom Rack sweater with this super cute plaid mini skirt, also from Old Navy. I ordered this online with my other batch of stuff and it fit and I kept it and I haven't worn it out yet because I feel self-conscious wearing short skirts but I just love the fit I love the chunkiness on top with the like pencil skirt on the bottom good proportion <laughs> sizes and wearing my Mary Jane flats which you can probably get a better view of now that my legs are out and about but this I love this would be not something I wear to work. I would wear this to work with tights probably like in winter time, but with going up and down ladders and like having to like lift stuff, I usually only wear like 
midi <laughs> skirts or longer to work and but this would be definitely like a casual day cozy day out and about doing stuff so yeah I, i'm excited to wear this and obviously the first half of fall is a lot warmer at least where i live in pennsylvania so i can get away with wearing this without tights probably through mid-october and then i could break out thin tights after that and it would look really cute and really kind of dramatic dramaticize dramatify <laughs> give drama to the look and this is very like dark academia as well but i could add black top or boots and make it a little bit darker but yeah i really like it super cute all right here's my sixth look this is a dress that i got today at old navy t-shirt t-shirt dress i love t-shirt dresses i have a couple that i've had for years and just wear them all the time and i love the length it's not too short not too long that's always kind of my battle with being a little on the shorter side and i don't want it to be yeah i don't want my butt hanging out when my arms go up like this so this is like definitely a good length for me at least and i love t-shirt dresses when it's still warm out and i can't be bothered to put on pants or like bottoms and this is again just an instant outfit and if i put my cardigan over it this is an old cardigan i've had for years and years and years it's from forever 21. i do not shop at forever 21 anymore but i've kept this for years because it's thick and i wear it again to the archives a lot so instant cozy outfit i could wear this at home to read all day on the couch i could run out and run errands I could probably get away wearing this to work because it's not too short, like I said, especially if my butt's covered with the cardigan. And yeah, super easy. And again, I love this color, green. Adding more green, autumnal greens. <laughs> Going back into more casual, I wanted to, to in I wanted to include just regular blue jeans because I wear <laughs> jeans so much, like when I'm off duty aka when i'm not at work and i feel like we all have jeans in our closet no matter what kind of fit you have these are like these are mom jeans i love mom jeans i've always loved mom jeans and i will wear them <laughs> until i die but i just love they're so flattering at least on my body type and these are from american american eagle i love american eagle jeans for me being a short girl i've found that they have the best kind of length and their jeans are also really comfortable like really stretchy like there are just some jeans that are like cardboard and i don't want to be in them for a long period of time these you know when i'm having a couch day i'm not wearing jeans but if i'm like running errands or like maybe working from home and i want to be a little more put together i love these jeans i also have a pair of black mom jeans also from american eagle that are stretchy and comfortable and those are great too but i wanted to show kind of a jean t-shirt combo because i've mentioned i want more graphic tees this one i actually got from left bank books when i visited them visited them in st louis missouri and i had to get a t-shirt as my little memorabilia from there and i love black t-shirts <laughs> my mom commented on how i have so many black t-shirts and that's good i want that my inner child inner teenage sheila is like heck yes because i wore black all the time to express how emo I was. So this is me reverting to my inner turmoil. But now I'm wearing these again with these same shoes because I didn't want to take them off, but I could change it up with a boot. I mean, I always I love wearing these boots with this jeans, again, with a t-shirt or maybe a more dressier shirt or a sweater. I'll put a sweater on this in a second and then i also love just vans sneakers you can't go wrong with sneakers if you have converse cads nike's adidas more athletic i like vans and i also have like white sneakers that are really dirty but i would wear those too again for more casual fit and even more like athletic shoes i have like a pair of athletic looking nikes that are more like walking shoes that i could get away with this now to make this more autumnal we just need to add a sweater right here's a sweater this one's my like super autumnal sweater and when i'm wearing more kind of like muted colors like black and blue more, i guess neutral is the color i can just throw this on and it just makes me feel a little more put together and it's warm again i wear this sweater at the archives all the time i wear it out and about and it 
completes the look. At least it completes my look. Again, we'll grab, we'll grab one purse. I don't have that much bag in my bag. There we go. Bam. All right, look number eight. This might be the last look. I'm wearing the same shirt, but I wanted to show you how I would wear it with like a midi or maxi skirt. I wear this one so much. I feel like you guys have seen it a million times. I got it at Boscov's, I think for $20 last season. I love it. It's so hard to find like affordable, cheap midi, dr midi dresses and midi skirts, even at thrift stores. Thrifting is a whole nother conversation these days. But yeah, I have this paired with my comfy, chunky black boots and just put on my black purse to kind of complete the look. And I could add a little witchy hat to this, but this is again, a quintessential off-duty <laughs> Sheila look that I would wear on the weekend, running errands or just hanging out or going out to the bar when I go to the bar once a year. <laughs> so yeah, forgot to show you <laughs> what jacket I would wear with this because I'm not just going out in a t-shirt. I'm always at least carrying a jacket or a sweater because I get cold easily, especially in restaurants and like establishments. But yeah, I would just throw on a jean jacket. And I forgot to mention this jean jacket, I've had it again for years. It's from Forever 21, but I just wear the heck out of it. And I'm gonna end it there because I could just keep going and going and going, but I will exhaust myself and probably overwhelm you guys with so much outfit fashion talk, but let me know if you got any inspiration or help out of this uh, segment of this video. I had fun, don't get me wrong. I have fun trying on things and filming myself, but I don't know if it's interesting for you guys. But let me know if you're interested in a fall edition work outfit type video like I just did where I show outfits that I would wear to work at the archives because they, they look a little bit different than what I just showed you. So more trousers and a little bit more dressy and loafers and still cardigans and, you know, a little bit dressier. But let me know if you would be interested in that and I will at least film a reel. I am gonna film a reel, I think, of outfit ideas for work for the fall time. But if you want a more in-depth video of me chatting through it, <laughs> let me know. And here is the state of my bed. I did start putting some clothes away because I just kind of clean as I go because I get very overwhelmed. So this isn't even half of it really. And then I have <laughs> tripod one for this YouTube filming. And then I was also filming stuff for out for a reel, like in between takes. So super uh, intense setup going on over here. And then I had my shoes down there to pick from. But yeah, I didn't show these loafers at all because I wear these mainly to work. I don't really wear them outside of work, but if you want like a trouser loafer <laughs> work outfit video, let me know. It's a different day, friends. You can see that my hair is not <laughs> what it looks like earlier in this video. I have washed my hair and this is what it looks like air dry. And this is probably how it will end up looking most days when I don't feel like curling my hair. But this past week I have been touching up my hair in the morning before going to work, which has been really nice. I know it's not something I can maintain every single day, but I think getting into a little habit and a groove and making time to touch it up is good. And I think actually if I spend more time really curling it, like, 30 minutes to 45 minutes at the start of the week, it will actually hold better than if I just kind of piecemeal curl it. So that's my initial strategy going into this. But welcome to the end of the video. I just wanted to quickly show you the fall decor items I wanted to show you <laughs> earlier in this video. So let's just get into it. So these are some things I got when I was in Illinois. First one being this super cute clock that is in the shape of a tea kettle. It is made out of plastic and takes one AA battery, but I thought it was super cute and I'm gonna hang, hang it somewhere in my kitchen. I'm trying to find like cute vintage-y kitchenware items to slowly build my collection and this kind of fits, <laughs> fits that aesthetic. And then I got this picture, super cute like 
floral doodle, you know, graphic. And again, I love the aesthetic. I don't think I'll actually use this picture. Maybe I will use it once I figure out how to use it. It's, it's, it's had a life, but I feel like this will just be really cute to like leave out and put on a table or a shelf or something, again, to add to the vintage kitchen vibes I'm going for. And then these two things are pumpkin-esque. So I found this is a candle tea light holder, which I feel like is super cute. This was 70 cents. I love the Midwest prices. And then I found a two-piece plate set of these adorable pumpkin plates. $1.50 for this set. So cute. I was thinking the other day about my journey with confidence and over the years, like there are phases, like I am just reached my mid thirties and I've spent my early thirties struggling with my confidence. And now like this season, I feel like I reached a point where I am more confident of myself, more accepting of myself and ready to be seen and put myself out there. Whereas the past four years, I've been really struggling with that and trying to heal and believe in myself again. And then prior to turning 30, like my late 20s, I was very confident and was doing so much stuff. I was running a business and posting on on Instagram all the time and really put myself out there to be seen and heard and really believed in myself. And I think a lot of us in 2020 lost a sense of ourselves, whether it with, is with confidence or some other area in our lives. But for me personally, it was confidence in like, you know, showing up for myself, putting myself out there, dressing nice for myself, uh, doing my hair, you know, and since I am on YouTube and have an online presence, I've just been hiding a lot these past four years. And of course, I've shown up and have posted videos and, and there have been periods where I have been confident in myself. But the whole journey has just been a wave these past four years of having high points of believing in myself and then having low points of self-doubt and just gloom. And I share this with you guys because I feel like I've come to a point where I am able to articulate that and share it in a verbal and visual form. So then I thought back to my like 20s, like like where, where are these different periods of confidence? I mean, if we go back to being a child, our early childhood days, we don't care about things, how we look. We care about friends and like having the latest name brand item or something, which kind of segues into when we become a teenager and we're super self-conscious, our body is changing, we're going through puberty. And there's a journey of finding ourselves in that teenage to 20 period. And then once I found myself in my college days, so like early 20s, early to mid 20s, I was very, very confident, very invincible. Nothing could, you know, perturb me. And of course I dealt with a lot of terrible things during that period between breakups and relationships and misogyny and racism. Like so many things were thrown at me in my 20s and I was very strong and had my armor on. And I think once I got to my 30s, when I turned 30, my armor was dropped. I was super vulnerable and started this path of healing. That's also when I started going to therapy in my early 30s and that was a journey in itself of a lot of healing and actually the beginning of this year, 2024, was the end of my therapy with that therapist because she had closed down her practice and moved on. So it was kind of like okay, Sheila, you're on your own now. And I wasn't planning to find a new therapist at that point. I feel like I graduated at least from that initial therapist that I was with who really helped me mainly with like racial trauma, but also with confidence and being an artist and my career and showing, uh, showing up online, just like all aspects of my life. And that was in January, our last session was in January. And now I look at myself, we're in September, almost October, and I see how far I've come 
not only in my personal like healing journey and mental health journey, but just like outwardly as well and how I present myself, how I think about myself. And YouTube is a direct, you know, output of everything, maybe not so overtly, you know, this is what's going on right now, guys, but in a sense, the energy is there in how I edit my videos, what the co content on my videos is, the music I'm using. I can just look back on this whole year and just kind of see that progression of getting to where I am now. <laughs> I'm, I'm planning to do like a self-reflection end of the year type video when we get to December because I've been thinking about this specific kind of title for the video and what I want to talk about in that video and this is kind of a preview of that. That's my current journey with confidence and I think to wrap this up, we never reach a final destination of being confident. I think especially as women, you know, we're socialized to doubt ourselves, to compete against other women and to put ourselves down and I think, you know, we're gonna have to always work on our confidence and it's kind of like a habit just consistently showing up for ourselves and also for the other people in our lives that are important to us that we want to you know be our best versions of ourselves for so just remember friends that you are awesome I believe in you and you're not alone in this weird little journey of being confident or fighting confidence or whatever we want to call it so I digress but thank you friends again for being here and I will see you in the next video. Bye.